Hello guys, it's me Christian again and you're listening to episode 2 of my showcase series Android Talks where I talk about the apps I use on my smartphone. Friends keep asking me how I keep always updated when I don't watch TV. The thing is sometimes I talk about topics days before they become mainstream interest. How am I doing this? How do I stay updated? It started with my computer shop. I had to stay updated with all the games and software updates and what games are trending and being able to just scan through hundreds of sources a day in a short time and filtering uh, only the relevant information was key. So the key to this was using RSS Newsreader. Probably you have used RSS feeds unknowingly for many online games and homepages are using it for their news and update feeds or promo ads. In the past, all the big companies used them for maintaining their home pages. WordPress is a very popular service which uses it. And Facebook and Apple not only used it, but were responsible to a large part how it works today. Even though Facebook uses now a more efficient but proprietary system. Year after year in tech news, people prophesied the death of RSS, especially after Facebook, and don't quote me, but I believe also Apple replaced RSS with their own new technologies, even though it is still relevant today. Google News, Feedly, for example, fetched the RSS feeds and packed their bits of information provided into stylish tiles showing the news headlines and even the picture if provided. For some of you, this might be a useful feature, but for me, this is clutter. Also, do I have only limited say in what I can subscribe to? Personally, I just need the headlines and ask for more details if something catches my interest. That is the philosophy I follow, and it is also greatly reducing the amount of data I use every day, because I do not load every picture, play every sound bite, or video stream. Google Reader, for example, was an online service which you opened in a standard browser window like in Chrome or Internet Explorer. It took me long to find a replacement which featured a look and feel and the functionality I could get used to after Google cancelled the service. And when I started to use my phone more often than my computer, I had to look yet for another app that worked on touch screens for me. Which leads us to Aggregator, which I'm using right now on the phone. I will link uh, the download link in the description box. Aggregator, like I said earlier, grabs my headlines and other information since my last check from subscribed websites and presents them to me in an easy to grasp list. It also offers me to group websites together by any category I prefer. Local news, world news, my hobbies, lifestyle tips, all my choice, but also a little work before you can harvest the fruit. How that works I will show you in the next video. or plural in the next videos. This tiny but powerful program that I love so much right now is configured to query 160 plus pages on YouTube channels right now, just by the press of one button. If I would search for those pages every day manually, I would spend all day typing website addresses and miss a lot of news and information because I would for sure also forget to check on something. Well, this is the point where I thank you all for watching my video and ask you to like my Facebook page, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you can find me. Links are in the description box. So, mm. <laughs> so I hope to welcome you soon in the next video where I showcase aggregators functionality in detail. Bye bye.